never settle. That is the mantra being used by the new company OnePlus. And here we are going to see if this really is the one to take on all of the flagship devices out today. Hey, it's Josh Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And here is your first look and hands on with the OnePlus One. While at first glance you might see some shades of another phone coming out of the Chinese market, the Oppo Find 7, we do find some subtle differences and the OnePlus One does stand on its own with its own design language. The gorgeous jet black display is pretty much all you're going to see on the front. You do get capacitive buttons below the display, but there is a way to switch between using those and on-screen keys, which we will talk about a little bit later. The minimalistic design language continues as you turn the device around. As the 13 megapixel rear shooter with dual LED flash is there, with the OnePlus logo at the center and a cyanogen mod logo at the bottom etched into the smooth plastic back along with the volume rocker on the left and the power button on the right of the phone positioned perfectly for those of you who uh, need better ergonomics on the on the phone the buttons land exactly where your fingers would and provides a nice experience the sleek and elegant lines make the device very comfortable to hold despite its size and relative heft. And though the one is at its thickest at 8.9 millimeters thick, a curved back results in a tapered edge. The dimensions of the phone are actually similar to the Oppo Find 7, but not as wide as the Galaxy Note 3. And so the handling experience is just on the line of discomfort when it comes to one-handed use. But the width does help, and it should be quite easy to get used to after some time. That is really what struck me most about this phone was the weight distribution. While this phone is not very different in size from the Find 7, I found that the OnePlus One was nimbler in the hand with a light feeling throughout, making the hand gymnastics you may have to perform to reach elements of the screen fairly easy over time. OnePlus pretty much promised that it would feature the best design, and while that does come down to personal taste, we do have to admit that the OnePlus One is certainly a great looking device. Also, if you are wondering about the replaceable back covers, they are on the way in the various materials that you have read about. They just won't be available at launch. Moving to the display, you get a 5.5 inch JDI IPS display with a 1080p resolution resulting in a pixel density of 401 pixels per inch. You get the expected sharpness and colors that are vivid and pop on this beautiful large display. Viewing angles are also fantastic, allowing for 178 degrees of vision. The screen is an LTPS low temperature polysilicone LCD display that brings along TOL or touch on lens technology that eliminates the display between the touch sensor and the actual display panel and it is also significantly more shadowproof than other screens due to their strong Gorilla Glass 3. Get underneath that hood and we find what OnePlus promised in its teaser campaign, the fastest processing package currently available, which is of course the Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 processor backed by the Adreno 330 and 3GB three of RAM, which should make multitasking and general performance an absolute breeze. Now Cyanogen Mod is also catered towards a very smooth experience, and with this processing power, the OnePlus One was able to get through all the elements of the CM ROM with really no trouble at all. When it comes to micro SD expansion, there is none available on here, but you do get built-in storage including 16 and 64 gigabyte options. Keep in mind that your choice of storage also determines the choice of color with the 16 gigabyte device coming in this silk white and the 64 gigabyte version of being available in sandstone black. You also get the full range of connectivity options including 4G, LTE support everywhere, NFC, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and of course GPS. Now I was able to test the speakers for a short amount of time and the initial impressions were that the speaker is really somewhat lacking in volume and sound fidelity, but further testing of this will be done with our review unit. When it comes to the battery, you get a large but not removable 3100 milliamp hour unit. So that, coupled with the energy efficient display and the power frugal processing package, should allow for more than a full day of use, in, uh, according to OnePlus. Now, while it might not offer all the bells and whistles that you are afforded by other flagship devices out there, the OnePlus does give you power and performance without skimping on what's required. You get the core Android experience here at a very, very fast speed. As we move on to the cameras, we find a Sony Exmor RS 13 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture and a dual LED flash, and this whole package promises to deliver amazing shots, made more precise, distortion free, and detailed by the 6 physical lens construction. Now if selfies are your thing, you do get the 5 megapixel distortion free front facing camera with a lens that allows for an 80 degree capture uh, that should work wonders for you. 
Uh, the rear camera is also capable of shooting slow motion 720p video at 120 frames per second, which we can't wait to try out. Now, working with the CM camera app showed a number of different modes and applications of the camera optics, and in my initial testing, it performed well to get shot after shot, but of course, we'll have to save the picture quality judgment for when we're able to really run it through its paces during a more comprehensive review. Finally, when we make it to software, we'll find a pretty familiar face, which is actually a strong suit for the OnePlus One, as the software is CyanogenMod 11S, a special release specifically designed for this device uh, and is able to take advantage of all of its features and is based on Android 4.4.2 KitKat. You get a clean, minimalistic look at its core that keeps the software experience fast, and once again, if you keep it simple, you keep it fast. But as is expected already with CyanogenMod, there is a high level of customization underneath, and it is available through the new theme engine and store and of course you can switch back and forth to the stock like experience if that is your cup of tea Sanogen mod staples such as sms uh, encryption and the privacy guard are available and you also get the advanced camera and gallery apps to help you get the most out of the camera some useful software features include a voice command that lets you wake the device or you can launch your favorite apps by drawing preset gestures on a sleeping screen and also as we mentioned before you can choose between the on-screen and capacitive navigation buttons to suit your preference. Now, whether or not you prefer soft keys or capacitive keys doesn't really matter here, as you can cater the experience to your liking, and thankfully, the bezel on the bottom of the phone is not so jarring that you would feel compelled to use one over the other. Overall, CyanogenMod brings a catered experience made wholly for the OnePlus One, and for any CyanogenMod veterans out there, this will feel very familiar, and also, it'll provide a fast and smooth experience. So not only does it feel right at home with this stylish device, it actually adds in some unique functionality on top of that, that further differentiates the OnePlus One from the rest. Now here's where the news gets pretty incredible. This entire package, considering the great 5.5 inch screen, the Snapdragon 801, the Sony camera, and Cyanogen mod out of the box, will start at the wonderful price of $299 for the 16GB version, making this the biggest absolute steal in the flagship game, bar none. Even with the Sandstone Black version, the 64GB version, it comes in at a price rivaled only by the Nexus 5, $349. And so, there you have it, the OnePlus One. Should you believe the hype when it comes to this phone? Well, that is entirely up to you. You get a stylish device that comes in at an incredible price and provides power that is only rivaled by the flagship smartphones out today. Uh, and uh, although you may not be able to get your hands on one as easily at first because of an invite system, we're sure that a lot of you will be clamoring to get your hands on this device, just as much as we are to bring you our full review. So, stay tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage and also our review and future coverage of the OnePlus One, the 299 quote-unquote flagship killer that we're going to put through its paces and see if it really does live up to that hype. For now though, we are excited to see this phone in the future, and so keep it tuned to Android Authority, drop us likes on our videos, and subscribe if you haven't already, and then head on over to AndroidAuthority.com for more in-depth coverage of the OnePlus One because we are your source for all things Android.